Hi friends, welcome to Daladal's Kitchen. I am Mansi and today I am going to show you a very tasty kulfi which is Kesar Pista Kulfi. So now let's quickly start making the Kesar Pista Kulfi. I have taken a deep pan over here and in that we will take some full fat milk first. And we'll add the sugar. We'll mix this well and allow it to cook for five to seven minutes, or till it comes to a slight boil. And while this is cooking, I've taken a little bit kesar over here. We'll just crush it a little bit, and we'll take a little warm milk from this and add it to the kesar. You can see what a nice color this is getting. We'll keep it aside for some time till the kesar releases more color in the milk. And the next step, we'll prepare the corn flour and water mixture. I'll add two tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of corn flour. This is going to help in thickening the milk. So this is ready. We'll keep it aside. We'll check the milk. Keep stirring it occasionally. This is going to take a little bit time, but believe me, it's totally worth the effort. What we have to do is we have to reduce the milk till it gets a thick consistency, and then we are going to add the flavoring that is the kesar and the pista, and pour it into the kulfi molds. It's been five to seven minutes. You can see the milk has started boiling. So at this stage, we'll add the corn flour and water mixture, and just mix it well. And now we have to allow the milk to reduce to almost half. Cook it on a medium flame for about 20 to 25 minutes, and keep scraping the milk occasionally from the sides because if you do not do that, it will start sticking to the sides and it will get burnt. And make sure you're cooking it on a medium flame only. So after adding the corn flour, it's been 10 to 12 minutes already. You can see the milk has reduced and it's also thickened a little bit. But we still wanted to reduce more, so we'll keep cooking it more. Again, I'm reminding, keep stirring it occasionally and scraping the sides of the pan. Otherwise, you will notice at the end all the milk has stuck to the sides and it'll start burning, and that will give a flavor to the milk which we do not want. So now it's been 25 minutes. You can see the milk has reduced so well. This is the exact consistency that we want. So make sure it has reduced this much, and now. We'll just switch off the flame and allow it to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. So our milk has slightly cooled down. It's been 10 to 15 minutes already, and now I'm going to add the kesar and milk mixture for that lovely kesar color. We'll add the pista, which is the, which is another main ingredient to this kulfi, and some cardamom powder, and we'll give it a nice mix. Wow, the kulfi is catching such a lovely color of the kesar. Yes, it's been mixed well, and now we'll start pouring them into the kulfi molds. You can see I have a smaller size, but if you have a bigger size, you can use that. There's no issue. I'll just open it and I'll pour it into the mold till the top. Pour it this much, and then cover it with the lid. In the same way, I'll fill the remaining kulfi molds. If you don't have kulfi molds at home and if they're not available also near your area, you can pour it into a flat aluminium container and have it like a sliced kulfi, like you get in the restaurants. Now, if you have plastic kulfi molds, that is also fine. You can use those also to set this kulfi. And now the final kulfi mold. So all our kulfi molds are ready. They have been filled with the milk mixture. What you need to do is refrigerate it for eight hours at least, or you can keep it also overnight. So I've kept these kulfi molds overnight. I've removed them from the freezer, and once you remove it from the deep freeze, keep it aside for two minutes, and then you open the lid. I'll put the ice cream stick inside, and just remove the kulfi, and it's ready to serve. So in the same way, look at this video and make the kesar pista kulfi for your house party or just like that. And let us know how it tasted. Bye bye.
download the Talla Dalal app on your Apple and Android devices. Follow us on the Facebook at talladalal.com. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.